Good morning, boys. I hope you're having a super good week and that you did very fun things this week. I'm sure you were able to watch movies with your family and play a lot of games and do a lot of new and fun things. I hope that all the work that Don Alex and I are sending you is also good and that you were able to do some of it, but still relax at home. So what we are going to do today, because it's Friday, um, we're going to do something that you like a little more. That's why I wanted it to be a little bit of a surprise. And what we're going to do is read a Fluffy story. It's a very cool book. I think you boys are going to like it. It's called Fluffy Meets the Dinosaurs. So what we're going to do, just like always, you will see the book in the screen and you will be able to follow just like we do in class. But in the bottom of the screen, probably around here, you can see my face because I know a lot of you like to look at me and see my face and my hand gestures to understand the reading better. And so listen very carefully when we are reading the story. You can pause the video anytime you want when you hit the space bar. And also, if you want to listen to it two times to make sure you understand everything, it's perfect. I think that's a great idea. At the end of the book, we will do an, uh, a fun activity together to make sure that you understood what we were reading, just like when we do the quiz in class. Okay, boys, so let's get going. Let's have fun. Fluffy Meets the Dinosaurs by Kate McCullen. Fluffy rules. Wade and Maxwell put Fluffy in his play yard. They put in lots of toy dinosaurs too. Fluffy meets the dinosaurs, said Wade. Hey, dinosaurs, thought Fluffy. It is the age of the dinosaurs, said Wade. Dinosaurs rule the earth. Those little things, thought Fluffy. Dinosaurs are fierce, said Maxwell. They are very, very powerful. You must be joking, thought Fluffy. Wade picked up a long dinosaur. He stomped it around. I am Thunder Lizard, he roared. In your dreams, thought Fluffy. Maxwell picked up a big-headed dinosaur. He stomped it around. I am king of the dinosaurs, he growled. T-Rex rules. I don't think so, thought Fluffy. Maxwell made T-Rex bite Wade's dinosaur. He made his dinosaur roar. The two dinosaurs began to fight. Wade and Maxwell made strange dinosaur noises with their mouths. Soon, more dinosaurs joined the battle. Hey, thought Fluffy. Watch my food dish. You're messing up my play yard. But the dinosaurs kept fighting. Math time called Miss Day. Wade and Maxwell put the dinosaurs down. They went back to their seats. Fluffy was alone with the dinosaurs. Fluffy began running around his yard. He kicked box the thunder lizard. He took a flying leap and stomped on T-Rex. He kept kicking and stomping. Soon, not a dinosaur was left standing. The age of the dinosaurs is over, thought Fluffy. Now it is the age of the guinea pigs. Fluffy rules. Fluffy's Great Adventure Today is our field trip to the Natural History Museum, Miss Day told her class. Did everyone bring a bag lunch? All the kids held up their lunch bags. Wade put his lunch bag down. He picked up Fluffy. We're going to the Dinosaur Museum, Wade told Fluffy. Why not a Fluffy Museum, thought Fluffy. Too bad you can't come, said Wade. Who says I can't, thought Fluffy. When Wade put him down for a second, Fluffy crawled into Wade's lunchbox. Miss Day's class rode a bus to the museum. Everyone sat in a courtyard to eat lunch. Wade opened his lunch bag. He took out his sandwich. Yuck, he said. Fluffy poked his head out of the bag. Yuck, thought Fluffy. It was yummy. Yikes, said Wade when he saw Fluffy. Miss Day, he called. Look who's here. Fluffy, exclaimed Miss Day. How did you get into that bag? I'll never tell, thought Fluffy. Our class pet Fluffy came with us, Wade told the museum guide. 
The guide took Fluffy from Wade. What a pretty little cavey, he said. Hey, watch your mouth, thought Fluffy. Cavey is the scientific name for guinea pig, the guide explained. Let's go inside. I'll show you Fluffy's cousins. I'll show you his ancestors, which are his great, 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 great grandparents. Miss Day's class followed the guide into the museum. They stopped by a glass case. A sign on the case said, Rodents. Rodents are animals that like to nag, the guide said. They have very sharp front teeth. Fluffy is a member of the rodent family. Cool, thought Fluffy. Mice are rodents too, the guide said. That means mice are Fluffy's cousins. No way, thought Fluffy. So are rats, added the guide. No, 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 thought Fluffy. Fluffy growled, but the guide did not seem to notice. He only walked to the next glass case. These are Fluffy's ancestors, he said. They came from South America. They are called wild cavies. Wild, thought Fluffy. That's me. Wild cavies are plump, the guide said. Bigger animals like to eat them. Hold it right there, thought Fluffy. Only cavies that hid did not get eaten, the guide went on. They survived. Fluffy looked into the case. He saw two small furry animals hiding in the tall grass. The animals looked very scared. These are not my ancestors, thought Fluffy. No way. The guide led the class down the hallway. He stopped in front of a large statue. Fluffy's eyes got very big. Yes, he thought, here is my ancestor. Grandpa, thought Fluffy, I'd know you anywhere. Hi, boys. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I know that it was a very fun one. So now we are going to talk about what happened in the reading. Um, Fluffy went to a place called the Natural History Museum. There are a lot of natural history museums all around the world. I'm sure some of you have heard of the one in New York. That one's very famous. I think it's very similar to the one that Fluffy went to. Now, a natural history museum is just the name for a place where you can go to learn about things that happened in the past. Just like with Don Alex, you are learning about history. You are learning about ancient Greece and the Romans and all those things. This is the same, except because it's natural history, it focuses on things that are living. What are living things? Do you remember? Living things are the animals, the plants, humans. Now, we have read about dinosaurs. Now, Fluffy loved the dinosaurs and he thinks that the T-Rex was his ancestor. Did you listen to that voice when he said that the T-Rex was his grandpa? Do you think that's true? So what we are going to do now to have a little bit of fun because it's Friday, we are going to make up our own dinosaurs. So what can we do to make up our own dinosaurs? To create our own dinosaurs, we need to have a lot of imagination. And I know you boys have more than enough. So what we are going to do, you're going to get a piece of paper, you're going to get a pencil and you're going to get some colors. Now the colors, I know that some boys don't like to color, but I want you to show me that you can do anything you set your mind to. So Miss Angela can't show you the paper because it's going to look very strange with this camera, but I did it on the computer. You know that your drawings are the best that you can. Always remember rule number three, do the best you can. So I will show you what Miss Angela did on her paper. I put the name of my animal, Miss Angela's Dinosaur, Rocky the Apple Eater. Now you know that Rocky is my favorite name for animals and dinosaurs. So my dinosaur is named Rocky. And I put the Apple Eater because he's an animal, my dinosaur, that only eats apples. If you want, you can change the name. Instead of Rocky, put Fluffy or mega whatever name you want for him and then you change what he is for example it could be fluffy the carrot eater no and that's her fluffy then miss angela did a drawing of her dinosaur 
I did a big long neck, a big fat belly, big fat legs, and I also drew little purple dots all over my dinosaur. Um, I also wanted to draw an apple tree right next to the dinosaur. So you saw with your eyes, you don't have to read what he likes to eat. On the other side of my drawing, I wrote about my dinosaur. I put, this is my dinosaur. His name is Rocky. That means if it says his name is Rocky, is Rocky a boy or a girl? A boy. His is for boys. Rocky likes to eat apples. He walks very slow and he doesn't like animals that fly. They scare him. He has a long, long neck and purple dots on his back. So as you can see, we did it very easy. We put the name for a dinosaur, we drew a picture, and then we wrote a little bit about our dinosaur. If you can't think of what to write, you can use Miss Angela's text and copy, okay? So now I want you to draw beautiful dinosaurs. So when you come back to class, we can all decorate the walls with the beautiful dinosaurs you drew at home. Okay, boys, so I hope you have a great weekend and let's read another Fluffy next week. I hope to see you super soon.